Apprentice lesson. Jirachi. The subject of today's lesson is the elusive Pokemon Jirachi. Jirachi is a mythical Pokemon that can hibernate for over a thousand years. Much like we here, it seems. What? Huh? It says that when Jirachi awakens, it can grant wishes to people who write on its notes. Since it, since it has only three notes, I assume it can only grant three wishes at a time. I'd wish to become a master Pokemon illustrator. Paying a little more attention to class might help with that, young man. Sorry, Professor. I went to bed way too late last night. In this lesson, it's time for you to learn a new painterly style. We won't be doing any outlines or sketching. Instead, we'll be using a new tool. Let's use this start blanking and then see to start blocking in our base colors. First, we'll paint the yellow part of Jirachi's head that looks like a headdress. Now we use the delight gray color to paint Sirachi's head and body. You will need to switch to a smaller brush to paint his arms and legs. Next, we're going to add that we see the two yellow parts that look like streamers. These parts are flexible, wave as Sirachi flies. Why not let your imagination fly too? And paint them loosely and freely. Great, I love it when we get to do our own thing. Now let's add the blue-green nose to Jirachi's head. It's time to breed extra life in the, into our painting by adding shadows. To paint the shadows on Jirachi, we'll be using the opacity settings for the first time. Hooray! Wait, what is opacity, Professor? Opacity means the straight and solidity of the marks you make. There are four opacity settings in your toolbox, from solid to nearly transparent. Also now, no, we've been using the first opacity setting, which creates a completely solid mark. But, look what happens when we use the other opacity settings. At lower opacity settings, the color you use will look weaker and more transparent. <laughs> when using a low opacity, you can still darken your marks by going over them repeatedly. Because the effect is gradual, it makes it easy to create soft transitions and gradients. That looks really useful. It is. We're going to make use of opacity to finish our drawing of Jirachi. To shade the yellow areas, we'll use the fourth opacity setting. It's the most transparent. We can turn off the construction shapes for this set.
If you avoid shading all the way to the edges, you will end up with a nice backlight effect. Now, switch to the darker gray and add some shadows on Jirachi's face and body. a brightener painting with some highlights. Where we place the highlights depends on the position of the light source. The highlights on Jirok 2 will appear on any surface facing towards the top left. Let's highlight the yellow areas first. Placing several highlights on the long yellow parts will create a nice ripple effect. Now we'll add highlights to the gray areas. Now we'll highlight the notes. Use the smallest mark size to create a clean, sharp highlight. Time to paint some of the unique details that make Jirachi such a fascinating Pokemon. Start with the mouth and the scene Jirachi has on his belly. Zoom in to paint Jirachi's eyes. Two black ovals and green triangles beneath. Last but not least, you can bring the eyes to life with some highlights. You need a strong highlight at the top and a faint highlight underneath. Excellent! You completed a painterly portrait of Jirachi. If your new knowledge of opacity, you succeeded in painting soft shadows and... Look, Professor! Oh my! My artistic instinct created this. Your artistic instinct certainly is expressive. I know it's not perfect. I need to give these opacity settings another try. It's never bad to practice. The mini lessons will be a good opportunity. Although you can always redo this lesson if you want to try for something less dramatic. Got it. See you in the mini lessons, right, Angel? Lesson complete. 